Now this story has always touched me. This story was what actually really drove me to live for God and to do this type of work here. Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris went into Columbine High School and they shot up the school and harmed tons of people. Eric Harris wrote online because he started a website about evolution. Hi, meet Matt Powell, Christian, young earth creationist, preacher, misrepresenter of science. And yes, he really is going to use the Columbine High School massacre to justify his religion and its fight against evolution. Let's see what this person has to say. Eric Harris wrote online because he started a website about evolution. And he says, you know what I love? Natural selection. It's the best thing that ever happened to the earth. Getting rid of all the stupid and weak organisms. But it's all natural. Yes. Eric may have said that, but that is not evolution. That is not survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest would be something like a herd of wildebeest being chased by a lion and the slowest or sickest getting caught and then not passing on its genes. The use of guns to shoot a bunch of students is not natural selection. So what did he do? He goes into a school with Dylan and they shot, they started off with uh, Rachel, uh, Rachel Scott right down here, uh, right there. They shot Rachel four times and she was laying there on the ground and they sat there for a few minutes just watching her die. And you don't think that could be because they're perhaps mentally disturbed in some way. Ordinary people, whether religious or not, do not go into schools and go blasting guns around. Rachel says, I have this theory, she wrote this in her journal, she says, I have this theory that if one person can go out of their way to show compassion, then it will start a chain reaction of the same. And that is a very, very commendable way of thinking. But Matt, you do not have to be religious to be a decent person. You do not have to be a Christian to do nice things for people. She was the first victim. They picked her up by the head while she was still alive and they said, do you still believe in God? She says, you know I do. She says, you know I believe. You know I do. And they shot her execution style. It was an absolutely horrific incident. Make no mistake. But even now, all these years later, the motive behind it is not known. Now, Harris was believed to have been a psychopath. He lacked empathy. He had narcissistic traits, unconstrained aggression. Klebold was believed to be an angry depressive with low self-esteem, anxiousness, and a desire for vengeance against those he perceived had mistreated him. So, which is more likely? Did they do this because they're atheists? or perhaps because they had mental health conditions and the support services for those weren't available. Plus the heady mix of easy access to heavy firearms. They went through the school and they started asking people, do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? And they would shoot whenever the student would say yes. You believe in God? Bam! You believe in God? Oh no, I don't believe in God. All right, we'll leave you alone. Do you believe in God? Yep. Bam! It went through the whole school asking people if they believed in God. Well, hate of the religious may or may not have been the cause behind the Columbine shooting. But Matt, what you have to consider is that 288 school shootings have taken place in the United States since 2009 on this analysis. Whereas there was only two in Canada, two in France, one in Germany, with none in Japan, Italy or the UK. 31% of worldwide mass shootings are in the US, which only has 5% of the global population. And what has this got to do with religion or atheism? If we look at the table of the percentage of population that are not religious or are atheistic, the United States is really low, i.e. there's a much higher proportion of those who are religious. Look at Japan, 57% of the population are not religious and no school shootings. United States, with only 16.4% irreligious, 288. So how does that equate with your 
beliefs, Matt. This is the damaging effects of telling your kids that they're nothing more than an animal and that it's, it's all about survival of the fittest. Folks, last I checked, our mission is to help the weakest. Evolution says that we want to, you know, we want to preserve the best. It's all about being the best. Be the strongest that you can be. Survival of the fittest. Liar. Evolution says no such thing. Evolution has no purpose. It's nature. It's a natural process. Nature is known to be red in tooth and claw. The weakest, the slowest, will get picked off because they're the easiest targets and that leaves the strongest and the fastest. That's all evolution is. It has no aims. And if there really is a God that created everything, that created nature, then it would appear that he approves of the lion picking off the slower and the weaker animals, leaving the stronger and the fittest. Folks, the Bible says that this is pure religion to help the widows, people that have struggled, the fatherless, help the weakest. Don't be down on them. This is Christianity. Well, perhaps instead of making videos misrepresenting science, Matt, you could do the Christian thing and perhaps help the weakest, those that have mental health problems, fight for better services for them. They shot Isaiah Scholes just because he was black. They, they made fun of him for being black. Folks, red, yellow, black and white, they're all precious in his sight. Amen. So these mentally disturbed individuals packing arms also are racists. Your point? They shot Isaiah Scholes because he was black, because evolution says that they're inferior. Evolution is a racist religion that causes death. You're really fucking pissing me off now, Matt. Evolution says no such thing. It doesn't say that one person is better than another, that one race is better than another in any way, shape, or form. You. Rachel Scott's story really changed my life. I remember watching the movie about them going into the school, shooting up the place. Matt, you're forgetting Preacher 101. I think it's about time you deployed some emotion. And I remember seeing a, a playback of what happened to Rachel. And, you know, I thought, wow, what compassion that she had up until the very end. She had compassion, looked them in the eye and said, you know, I, I believe in God. And more or less is saying, I want you to believe in him too. Even though we were sinners, and even though we did way worse things to Christ, he died for us. Bravo, Matt, bravo. Bringing the horrific story of a couple of very sick individuals round to how wonderful God is. I am surprised. So these students, Matt, that were shot, do you not think a single one of them prayed to God to be saved? Looks like he didn't care enough to perform one of his miracles and stop the bullets, did it? Evolution says it's about the strongest. Let the strongest live. Step up for the strongest, defend the strongest. Evolution is talking about the survival of the fittest, those that can get to the food, those that can escape danger. It says nothing, absolutely nothing, about going out and killing people. Stop lying and misrepresenting what science says. It's dishonest. It's unchristian. The Bible says comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient all men. Yes, it does. And nature says I couldn't give a fuck. What can I catch for dinner? 98%, or actually 90 plus percent of students that go to school in their freshman year they give up believing in the Bible because they're taught evolution. They're taught that they came from nothing. They're taught to believe in magic. They're not taught the facts. They're taught to believe in magic, folks. They're not taught to believe magic, Matt. They're shown the evidence. They're taught the current scientific theories. And once they see all this, once they're exposed to this evidence, they realize that that is a stronger foundation than the belief in some religious scriptures. We need to make a distinction in between what's right and what's wrong. And we need to make it clear. Don't wait until your kid goes to the school to tell them what the truth is. Don't tell them now. 
These parents, they always call me, they say, Matt, please talk to my kid. It's too late, I can't get him back. And every time I talk to them, it's just such indoctrination. You wish that their eyes could be open. So basically, these kids are no longer in an environment when everything they're taught is controlled by someone who has a religious belief. Instead, they see other things. Instead, they realize that what they've been taught is not true. Be not overcome of evil. That's the conclusion of this message. Don't overcome evil with evil, but overcome evil with good. Be nice to people. You know, if I have to, you know, you say, well, you haven't always been nice. You've really called out some people in the past. Folks, it's for the protection of others. The, the Bible says, smite the scorner and the simple will beware. There are certain people that just need a swift kick in the pants. So giving people a swift kick in the pants is okay, is it, Matt? Great. Well, consider this an ass kicking you'll never fucking forget. So do you have anything to say to round off this teaching today, Matt? So every sin that I've ever done and every sin that you've ever done, it was as if Jesus had done it himself. He was being punished in our place for our sins. And so, like I said, he was the substitute lamb. He was the one who came and took your sins and my sins upon his own shoulders on that cross and bear them in his own body, as the Bible says. Do you realize how stupid you are, Matt? If Harrison Klebold suddenly saw the light and begged Jesus for forgiveness, it would all be okay and they would go to heaven. Wonderful. There's heavenly justice for you. Thanks, pal. And so anybody can be saved by simply receiving the gift of salvation. The Bible says that he died for them. That is some amazing love. Sometimes whenever you tell the truth, people get really offended. And sometimes the truth is simply hate to those who hate the truth. Well, here's a bit of truth for you, Matt, and I'm sure you'll hate it. Utilizing the very, very sad deaths of a number of young people caused by a couple of very sick individuals and twisting that story to push and support your religion is disgusting. Absolutely fucking disgusting. I can't believe that you would stoop so... Well, actually, I can because I've seen other videos of yours. I am appalled, as I suspect a great many of other people will be. You misunderstand, misrepresent and lie about science. And when people point out your errors, you ignore them. You're dishonest. You hide the truth from the people who watch your videos. Your comments are heavily censored. I challenge you to a debate, so you block me. You are despicable. Before you dismiss my video as the rantings of some God-hating atheist, I'm not. I, I'm quite accepting of people having religion. I have no problem with that. You follow whatever religion you want. If it gives you comfort, no problem. What I have a problem with is people lying, people deceiving. And don't you dare complain about my language. This is my 398th video, and it's the first time I have used this sort of language because you have pissed me off so much. And what sort of person are you, Matt? You're someone who teams up with Dr, which he isn't, Dr Kent Hovind, a man who spent several years in prison for tax evasion. What happened to rendering unto Caesar that which is Caesar's? Oh, and in another short stint for domestic abuse. Nice. You may be fooling your followers, Matt, but I have a sneaking suspicion that if there really is a God, he will see into your heart. And when you sit down, after you die, you're going to end up with griddle marks on your ass for all eternity.